Hey everyone, I'm Ben and you're watching The Snecker Show, and today we're here to learn a little something new about Threadlocker. Threadlocker is a type of adhesive used to prevent threaded fasteners like this nut and bolt from working apart over time from vibration or movement. And it's often referred to as Loctite because of the popular brand name. And this comes in two flavors. You have the blue removable Loctite for things that you might want to work on again later. And then you have the red high strength Loctite for things that you never want to take apart again. In the video I uploaded before this one related to installing an aftermarket cutter head in this thickness planer, I pulled out a couple of screws with a blue coating on them and referred to it as Loctite. And then when I was demonstrating the reassembly steps, I put Loctite on the screw that holds this idler arm in place. Now, it turns out that was a mistake for two reasons. First of all, I got a little too much Loctite on the screw, and some of it squeezed onto the idler arm when I was reinstalling it. That's more than a dab. This caused the idler arm to stick a little after the adhesive set up, and I started to hear a faint repeating click when the planer was on because it wasn't applying constant pressure down on that chain. The second part of the mistake is that this isn't Loctite at all, or any kind of liquid thread locker. It's a small patch of nylon that's bonded onto the screw to have the same effect as thread locker. If you were to order an identical replacement screw, the nylon patch is already on there. I probably should have caught that sooner, because I noticed when I took the screw out that the blue coating was only on one side, and if it had been applied in liquid form before installing, it would have been spread around a little more. So when my idler arm started sticking, it occurred to me that I might have improperly assumed that the blue coating on the screws that were the most difficult to remove was from a blue liquid thread locker. It's a good color match and it serves the same purpose, so it was an easy assumption to make. I was initially a little bit surprised to find out that that's nylon, but then I remembered that that's exactly how lock nuts work. There's a nylon ring around the inside that prevents it from working loose even if it's not tightened down all the way. Now, the screws with the nylon patch are a little bit different in that you do want to screw them in all the way to get the locking effect, but once they're in, they're probably not going to wiggle loose by themselves. Now, with regards to taking down that other video, or hiding the link is what I did, I was really on the fence about whether I should just post a correction down in the description or comments, or actually take it down, edit it, re-upload it, which is a huge pain in the neck and sucked up most of the weekend, but... Bottom line is that a lot of people don't read the video description or the comments, so the best way to get the right information to people who might need it is to just bite the bullet, take it down, do all the edits, re-upload it, and then make this video separately, largely just highlighting the fact that I made a mistake on the internet. Fun. I don't like to be wrong, but I really hate to be wrong still, so sometimes you just gotta suck it up and change your mind. Anyway, I hated to do it because that video already had like 800 views and 100% likes and some very favorable comments. Thank you, by the way, if you were one of the people who commented. Your support is appreciated, and you can feel free to put the same comment on the new version, which is already online. I just got to make it uh, live once this one hits. Just go click that button, and it'll be ready. So hopefully me learning about nylon patch screws the hard way has enabled you to learn about nylon patch screws the easy way. Seems like there is always something new to learn, and the more that you learn, the more you realize how little you actually know. Thanks for watching.